afternoon. We're here with Audrey Addison Williams, and she is the founder of the Healing Soul of America. And we are here to share some really exciting developments, some exciting news. Um, my name is Deborah Nelson. I'm I am the founder of Author Your Dreams and the Author Your Book curriculum. And so, good afternoon, Audrey. How are you? Hi, Deborah. Terrific. <laughs> Phenomenal. I know. <laughs> So, um, you want to just kind of like briefly tell us what your latest and greatest, most exciting news is? Well, all the news in my life is good news. <laughs> and that's a big switch. Uh, I have spent a lot of years trying to find out who am I and what am I doing here. And I'd go from that place to trying to find a job, going back to the one as going back to corporate America. And with the help of Deborah and Dreams to Reality, I was finally able to really get clear about what I'm here for, what my dream is. And I'm living that dream. What um, is that dream? My dream is to travel the world and ignite a movement uh, about oneness, mm -hmm. breaking through the polarization and realizing that we are all one big family, that there's an underlying unity that connects us all regardless of what we believe and don't believe or what we just disagree on or agree on, but there's something deeper that connects us all. And so that's been my dream for many years, to travel the United States, inspiring a movement called One America, and to travel internationally, bridging the gap between our country and the, and the greater world. So now, um, what is your most recent, latest, greatest, exciting news? <laughs> my greatest exciting news is I'm going to the motherland. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to Africa. Uh, I'm going to, I've been invited to speak in Cape Town uh, by the minister of the Unitarian Church, Reverend Rue Milan. I will speak on the 13th of February. And wow. from there, I will be hosted uh, actually by an American by the name of Dave Mays. And his wife is Jimmy. Okay. They moved to South Africa 16 years ago from Pittsburgh. And so he will organize my travels. I want to spend considerable time, at least five to seven days in Cape Town, and go from there to Johannesburg. And so he will coordinate my travels and arrange the host families. I want to live in the villages and see how, mm. how people live, as well as see all of the sites. Um, before I get to Cape Town, I have the privilege of traveling with Reverend Renee Wan, who is a Unitarian minister in Pittsburgh, and she will be traveling to Uganda to work as a volunteer with the African Rural Schools Foundation. She helped found this school three years ago. It's a grammar school, it's a residential school. We will take eyeglasses, mm. we will help children get eye exams, we will take children's clothes, we will take computer parts and rebuild computers there, we will teach basic computer skills, and we will do basic testing. And we will spend, we get to Uganda on January 25th, and we'll be there until February 9th. Mm. And we're going to have considerable time traveling in the various mm. villages, connecting with the families. And, and I'm just so excited uh, to have these opportunities to travel abroad. I feel very honored and very privileged. That is just so exciting and so amazing. So now, can you kind of tell me, like, you know, can we kind of rewind and maybe tell, tell us how... You kind of got to this point and what all led up to this? It's been a long journey. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I most learned from Deborah, and what Deborah did was remind me of what I already knew. Uh, Deborah gave me permission to know what I knew. And since 1986, I have had periods of attempting to earn a living by doing what I love. Uh, for a number mm -hmm. of years, I was successful as a professional speaker. Um, and always when things got rough, I run, run back to the one ads and I say, well, you know what, I'm in banking and finance, I know I can earn a living doing that. And I would go back and forth, back and forth. What Deborah basically said over and over again is live your dream. What is that dream? And it was so frightening to me. It was so scary to me to really tap into that place. And, and Deborah was like a midwife that birthed that part of myself, the real part of myself. And my dream statement, dreams to reality, we're required to do a dream statement. And the dream statement didn't make it into my book, Moving from Pain to Power, but it was the reason for doing the book. And the dream statement was, I traveled to 25 cities around the United States in 2011, inspiring a nation, 
to act on behalf of One America. And that was in April, and this is six months later, and I have invitations to speak all over the United States. <laughs> Just this week, I was in every major newspaper in Santa Barbara. I was on the evening news. The phone is constantly ringing with people asking me to come and speak. And so my life has changed. That is so amazing. Now, what you did, just so we can fill in everybody that's listening to this that might not really know about the Dreams to Rally curriculum, is what you did is you took what was our, our eight-week course and you wrote a dream plan book. So can you kind of tell a little bit about the process of writing that dream plan book? Well, it's, it's based upon 12 steps, I believe it. Is that correct, Deborah? Ten. We ten got steps. Ten. And I have to admit, Deborah gifted me this course. Uh, when she first offered it to me, I was not very optimistic. I have been reading positive thinking books since I was eight years old. My mother gave me the magic of thinking big. But there's something extremely unique and powerful about what Deborah does. The workbook is put together in such a way that if one is willing to commit the time to doing the exercise, and Deborah was very clear that it was a three to five hour week commitment. And let me tell you, I put that time in and more. Uh, and so eat, the first lesson is launch your courage. And there's workbook assignments that go along with that. And we begin our book on day one, the first day of the class. So we have the excitement that we are using this software called Print on Demand. And we have a book cover and a book title from, from the first day of the class. And so it was a process from launch my courage. And there, there are many, many steps about believing, conceiving. Uh, and, and also another part that was really important for me is to face those negative things, those issues, those obstacles that come up. I broke out in hives. I had an <laughs> asthma attack and ended up in the emergency room in two days in the hospital. I fell flat on my face in the middle of State Street. It's just everything within me seemed to be resisting yeah, yeah. this process. Uh, but Deborah, I knew Deborah was praying. Deborah was a coach. Deborah was a mentor. Deborah was a midwife <laughs> who hung in there and helped birth this dream. And so, One America, my vision is about a healed America. What does a One America look like? What does a country where we, the people, stand up and accept our power, where we're all living our dream, where we're all singing our own song, where we're all, dance, all dancing to our own <laughs> melody? That's what it's about. Deborah is going to have America dreaming again. Oh, and I'm excited you. about that because we've placed our dreams upon a shelf. Yep, yep, and yep. we have sacrificed yep. our souls, yep. you know, for a dollar, for nine yep. to five. And mm -hmm. Deborah is an example of someone who stepped out on faith. Uh, I am amazed at the amount of work it took for her to put that course together mm. and the way that it's put together in a professional manner. Uh, it is clear to me that she that that she was used by spirit, mm. that she was a channel for this, but she was such a willing soul. Not only did she put it together, then she says, "Well, I've got to find someone who's willing to go through the course <laughs> and and the labor of love mm. that she has put into this." And so, at this point in my life, I have no fear, mm. and I can say that from Woo! the depths of my being, I have Woo! no fear. I am no longer controlled by what anybody thinks of me. Uh, I no longer really care. What, what matters to me is that I'm living from a deep place of authenticity, mm -hmm. that I'm living mm -hmm. with integrity, and I get up every day and I live according to my 